Hey everybody, it's Kirk and I'm coming at you with my week 13 update. Um, we'll also call this my third month surge anniversary video. Woohoo! Three months, wow. It's really gone by fast. Um, I'll, what I'll do right, right on the front of the end of this video is sort of update you guys on uh, the situation at Urgent Care last week. Uh, many of you saw the video and were really nice and made a lot of you know, great comments. Um, I was only there for maybe an hour and a half, maybe two hours, um, and it was just a blip. It was just some random thing that happened after me not chewing a protein bar up very well, I guess. Um, I had one bite and it tasted kind of gross, and I was like, oh, you know, spitting it out wouldn't have been very pretty, so <laughs> I decided to um, swallow it and I when I shouldn't have. And I guess it just was too big or something. I don't know. It was a very uncomfortable um, situation and feeling. And hopefully um, some of you that are pre and post-op will learn from me not paying attention and will avoid that feeling yourself. So I'm pretty confident that it won't happen again because I'm very conscientious and um, feeling great. So I'm over it. It's done. Yay! So yeah, 13 weeks, 3 months. Um, sorry, I'm a little greasy and whatever from going to the gym, um, which was, you know, really good. You know, uh, I'm kind of doing a Tuesday and Thursday routine during the week, and then my plan on the weekend is to go at least one time with Eric. So, um, we'll see how that goes, and hopefully I can stay consistent, and eventually I'd like to flip-flop the Tuesday and Thursday routine for maybe a Monday, Wednesday, Friday routine. Um, so we'll see. But right now it's just a matter of getting in the habit of going, not hating it, um, actually kind of enjoying the time and it, or at least getting to check out during that hour or hour and a half um, while I'm there and it's it's going well. Um, what, what I thought was gonna be such a huge deal um, isn't turning out to be such a huge deal. So I'm really happy about that and hopefully um, you, with you all seeing how much of a struggle it was for me and me being really honest about my um, anxiety about going and then just facing it and just doing it will inspire some of you. So hopefully that will make it all worth it. I uh, wanted to talk a little bit about what kind of things have changed for me in these three months. Um, what's different about me before surgery and after surgery. And it's just a lot of really simple things that happen throughout the entire day. And one of the very first things I can think of or that comes to mind is I don't dread waking up in the morning to put on clothes to go to work. And, and what I mean by putting on clothes, it's not because I'm a nudist. Um, it's because, you know, when you... When you're, you're really big and you're uncomfortable, a lot of times your clothes don't fit properly and they might even be too tight. And so right from the beginning of the day, you have a reminder of how big you are and how uncomfortable you're going to be all day. And that just kind of sets you up for the whole day kind of being sucky, <laughs> lack for lack of a better term. So... I don't dread waking up in the morning. In fact, I know every morning when I get up, if anything, my clothes are going to be too loose. So I kind of try to pick out something to wear um, that doesn't make me look like Aunt Jackie from Roseanne show. <laughs> Today I'm looking a little Bubba-ish because I'm paying homage to my friends in the South here. So, yes. Only I would figure out a way to put the words homage and Bubba in the same sentence. But... Anyways, that's just me. So anyways, so yeah, so I, I look forward to putting on the clothes. Um, you know, it, it's it's just a non-issue now, and it's not something that I dread waking up and, and going to work and being uncomfortable all day. I'm comfortable all day in any clothes that I wear, no matter what. So um, that's, that's, that's a big difference between now and, gosh, 90-some days ago. So that is a huge improvement, a uh, big change um, for me. I notice also that like when I'm walking with friends or when I'm going with my co-workers to lunch or when I'm running errands around downtown Seattle, I don't get winded as easily as I used to. I mean, I can walk blocks and blocks and blocks and blocks and it's fine. I mean, it doesn't, it doesn't bother me at all. And I don't really look for, um, 
you know, I used to try to find things that were really close or I would make a lot of choices for lunch or picking up things, errands downtown that were just, I'd go just because someplace was close. Now I go wherever it is that I want to go. And if it's, you know, if it's like under a mile, I don't care. You know, I'll just walk down there and walk back. The only problem I run into is time. You know, I mean, if I had more time to, to, to do that in the middle of the day, I definitely would, but that's a big difference. Um, I can go up and down stairs a lot more easily. Um, when you're big, not only do you worry about going upstairs because, you know, you get tired and winded, but I don't know about you guys, but I would also get really concerned going downstairs because I, I really couldn't see them that well over my stomach. And I, I just always pictured myself missing a stair and falling down, you know, the you know, this big staircase. Um, now I can see the stairs, you know, comfortably. I can actually move down them. Um, Real easily, so you know, stairs, little things, stairs, walking, clothes. Um, other weird little things that I can do are things like cut my toenails without feeling like I have to hold my breath or suck it in, or you know, kind of hope I get someplace close to my toes when I'm using my toenail clippers. <laughs> now I can just reach them comfortably and cut them. Although I am going to miss getting pedicures, but maybe I can still treat myself to one of those every once in a while. But where before it was like a necessity to make sure that, you know, my feet remained healthy and cute, <laughs> um, now I can just do it myself. So, yeah. I know that's probably a big priority for a lot of my, my uh, guy uh, VSGers out there is making sure your toenails are cute. But everybody should take care of their feet. Um, you know, the other thing I noticed from like a mental point of view is I don't get derailed as easily as I used to. I think because my anxiety level is already, it's lower because I'm not as depressed and I, I'm not as anxious about wearing tight clothes or being uncomfortable. Um, it makes dealing and coping with other things that come up a lot easier. Um, and by no means am I saying that it's a piece of cake. I mean, I don't know about you guys, but I'm sure a lot of you out there are sort of the, the glue that holds your family together, your friends together, your colleagues together. And I'm definitely one of those people. Um, I'm definitely a people person. And I always want to make sure everybody is happy. And, you know, a big part of this journey is now including myself in that concern and making sure that I'm happy as well. So I don't get as derailed as easily. With as many plates that I'm constantly spinning and have to keep going, um, I just do what I can do and I feel like I'm facing challenges and I'm tackling them. So I would say the, the overall biggest change in the last 90 days is I feel like I'm in control um, mentally, physically, um, across the board. I'm getting goosebumps just saying that. I don't, know, I don't know if you can see them. But it's like, how do you put a price tag on that kind of feeling? How do you put a number on a scale with that feeling? I'm in control. Wow, right? So if I, if I could wish anything for any of you out there pre or post-op, um, of course I want people to have a painless experience. Of course I want people to feel good. I want people to think that they look good, but the biggest thing that I wish for all of you is that you can have even a little bit of this feeling of being in control. Um, it's intoxicating. It um, feels great. <laughs> like for, I, I can't think of any other way to describe it. So that's what I want most of all for all of you and I hope in some way my videos help get you there and I can be a part of that so that way when I watch your videos I can see little by little that spark that that little bit of con that little bit of control grow and grow and grow to where nothing food um, bad relationships uh, work stress, nothing will derail you. You you will be in control. Does that mean we're perfect? No. Um, when things get really tough, and I think I'm being really hard on myself, I have to remind myself, this is all about progress, not perfection. Um, and every day, even 
on the toughest day, it's so much better than those days just three months ago when I would wake up so depressed, so uncomfortable, so unhappy, without hope. It's different. It's different now. So, shout outs, shout out, shout outs. So excited about this part. Um, I want to congratulate uh, Joey G. Joey G. One week post op. Rocking it. Fantastic recovery. I can't wait till when Eric and I come down to Southern California to meet you and Sunny. Um, good job. You're doing this. You're doing fantastic. Um, I want to give a, a shout out to Amber. Amber's not on YouTube, but she is um, very active on the VST Talk, and she's doing fantastic. Um, we've been VST, VSG buddies now for the past few months, and I we live not that far away from each other, but we haven't had a chance to meet. And she had a chance to come to downtown Seattle today and come to my office, and she actually met with one of our recruiters. Um, so I'm hoping to help her start her new life um, land her dream job, or at least a job that she can live with um, that will get her to her dream job. So I'm really excited about that. Shawnee, Shawnee, Shawnee. So, so worried about what she's eating. And every day I review her food diary and she finally weighed herself and she lost six pounds. And it's like, see, I told you, I told you, you were worrying about nothing. You're doing fine, you're doing great. And I love her new purple hair. So, shout out to Shawnee. Michael, Michael VSG, G VSG Michael, so glad you're out of the hospital, so glad you're feeling well. Um, hang in there, buddy, you're doing great. Um, Sleeve Alicious 2012, I live for your videos. Oh my god, you should have your own show. I mean, you just freaking crack me up. I wish we lived closer because I just would want to hang out with you all the time. Um, which I don't know if your husband would like very much, but once he got to know me, I'm sure he'd be fine with it. And your daughter's so cute, too. You guys are just so cute. I loved your video. I love your videos. Um, Mark, Mark finally, you know, made an update video. He's doing great. Powerlifting, Mark. Yeah. I don't know who likes your videos more, me or Mr. Eric. Hmm. Dean, Dean. Love the new scale. Love the new scale. It clearly loves you. You're doing fantastic. Great job. Thank you for all the support. It's so much fun watching your videos and getting um, comments from you all the time. So I really like that. Um, Jay. Jay's not on YouTube either, but he's another VST buddy. Um, he's one of uh, our, our community that went down to Mexico and had his um, vertical sleeve gastrectomy. And he's doing fantastic as well. I mean, the guys are just rocking it. They're rocking their recoveries, and I'm just very proud of them and really happy with them. But I'm not so sure that donkey shows are part of a post-op recovery process. Hmm. Okay, moving on. Um, of course, I could not have a video with a bunch of shout-outs with kind of saying something about the three people who are sort of... Um, my core, my, my just, people who just really, really inspire me for different reasons on YouTube. Um, Sarah, I mean, gosh, the, the, the people you are helping, it's amazing. It's amazing, and you're just, you should be so proud of yourself. And I'm very proud of you, and I enjoy your videos. I'm running out of time here, so I'm going to make these other ones real quick. Um, uh, Mike VSG Bear, Mike down in San Diego, um, you know, we're kindred spirits, we come from the same background, culture, everything, and I just can't wait to meet you guys, um, you and Ian, when we come down to Southern California in a couple months. It's going to be a blast, and you're doing great, dude. Love it. You inspire me um, every day, so thank you for your friendship. Corey, 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 I know I give you a hard time about the popcorn and stuff, but it's only because I'm so jealous of how great you're doing, and you're fantastic, and... Your employer is lucky to have you, and just on and on and on and on. I could just go on and on and on all day about how helpful you are to everybody and everything, and I really appreciate it. 
So I'm getting close to the 15 minute mark, you guys, so I will cut this short, but I might post something a little bit later on in the weekend. So see you later. Bye.